What is going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today I want to talk to you on SoFi. Pretty exciting day today. I want to give you an overview of some of the current data points and go over everything else that you need to know. But first, make sure you just hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Always greatly appreciate that. And with that said, let's get right to it. So SoFi did close 4.99% in the green. It was able to get over couple key resistance levels so on the technicals are looking even better for a nice breakout as i've been signaling over the last couple of videos but 43.9 million shares were traded 60.1 is the average these are some of the transactions that did occur on the secondary market above one hundred thousand dollars and i like to bring this up because it does show where the volume is being derived from whether it be from ai algorithmic trading or ultimately big money getting in on the long term. And so ultimately, you do see big money with buying the hell out of SoFi. And most likely that was because a lot of people were just seeing CPI, that sell off that happened yesterday as an overreaction. As I even in fact did bring up in my video yesterday, a lot of analysts are really pointing to just that sell off being unjustified. And technically that negative CPI data was already known to the feds. So once again, I think big money does agree with that. So overall, a lot of transactions a couple big ones as well so 6.84 million and 2.6 and even speaking on big money there was a 13 g that was submitted as you can kind of see right here after hours yesterday and that did signal that vanguard as you can kind of see right here did increase their position from around i think it was 76 million to now 81 million or sorry it might have been 79 million to 81 but regardless they did increase their position within q4 pretty epic stuff and overall it does signal vanguard absolutely loves sofi along with a lot of other institutions right within that same quarter a lot of institutions increase their position so a lot of big money has been looking for value and what better place to park it than sofi other than that there was no actual news today there was that news that came out yesterday in regards to the whole mba kind of thing and there was an update i just wanted to quickly play for you so this one minute video does really break it down on why they did what they did with mba and why they're really targeting sports it is actually very brilliant to think about coming from a marketing standpoint so in case a lot of you are curious on why is sofi doing this or whatever else stay tuned and just listen to this uh, one minute video Anthony, uh, lastly, what does it mean for, for companies like you that want to have a presence in, in all things sports? What does it do to the value of those deals and, and how is it how can it be easily afforded? Those value the value of those deals only go up. When we did the NFL stadium rights deal with Stan Kroenke and the Los Angeles uh, Rams, as well as the Chargers, we looked at primetime television. Most people don't understand we did that deal for television, for reaching large unduplicated audiences. I had a thesis that we would get four to six primetime games at SoFi Stadium. And at 20 to 25 million unique viewers times four to six, we would get a larger reach and an ability to hit an audience at a lower cost than we were paying for television. And what we do when games are at SoFi Stadium on a Monday night is we run ads during the game. So they're not only are they aware of the brand, but they actually understand what the brand stands for. And guess what we do the next Monday night? We run the ads again because the same audience comes back the next week, even though the teams are different. And so it's easy to reach people 10 to 15 times in a season by partnering with the NFL. The NBA, same story. They have even higher frequency with multiple nights of primetime television throughout the year. And so our partnership with the NBA is about being there with them, a credible brand, about reaching their large unduplicated audience. They have 200 million fans uh, behind the NBA, and it's another way for us to continue to reach audiences that we need to penetrate and that we need to build trust and reliability with as a household brand name absolutely brilliant and plus on a side note in case a lot of you do not know north america is actually going to be hosting the i think it's 2026 uh, world cup and technically sofi has about four games if i remember correctly i'll have to double check on that but regardless world cup is going to be absolutely epic for sofi get its name out there and hopefully by that stage by 2026 they'll be able to expand outside of just the american population and yeah that would just be massive but moving on though talking on shorts initially they were doubling down they were increasing almost about 500,000 shares it wasn't until power hour that's where they did ultimately return quite a lot so at the end of the day they did return 286,000 shares 16.44 percent of the free float is being shorted and 149.94 million shares overall are being shorted so shorts definitely have been very volatile and have been 
more so a big attribute of SoFi's up, down, sideways, all over the place. So hopefully going forward, shorts will just naturally start to leave, especially with SoFi's profitability and going forward and everything else. Cost of borrow average is 1.04%. And it is to note that it's been a good about two and a half, three weeks since we have seen the cost of our minimum be negative. So whatever broker that was doing that has since stopped. Um, so I don't know who that was. But aside from that, looking at options, $6.53 million in calls being purchased versus $1.25 million in puts. Sentiment wise, 52% of all the options being done today are optimistic and bullish. And so most likely that is piggybacking off of the technicals. And of the call options that were purchased today, you do see a very strong consensus for it to be above $8. And looking at puts, it is anticipated to be sub oddly enough below 750 so i'm not really sure where people are getting that from maybe from the technicals or maybe they're anticipating negative retail sales or ppi so retail sales is coming out thursday ppi is on friday and one thing i just wanted to bring up so looking at the open interest of the call options if sofi is able to close above eight dollars you are seeing around thirty six thousand in open interest so similar to what happened this last monday market makers covered uh, i believe that at that time it was around 19,000 in open interest. So if SoFi does close this upcoming Friday above eight, then you are going to see a nice similar pop up, whether it be pre-market or during the trading day. And then even better, if it is able to close above 850, there's 35,000 in open interest at 850 strike, and then 38,000 at that $9 strike price. So hopefully again, bigger and better things are gonna be coming down the pipeline. Looking right now with it closing at $8.42, it was able to get above this key pivot point right here so of this eight dollar and 28 cent resistance level so of course that definitely started to struggle with a little bit but once again once it did break past that it was just easy money from there it did struggle with this so the eight dollar and 32 cent one right here so that is more on the four hour so you do see this 832 so it kind of struggled with that but then again, it only lasted for a good about 15, 20 minutes. And then as you can kind of see, it is ready to break out. So looking right here, number of retail investors have been constantly getting in. Looks like ever since around the 18th. So overall, that's kind of a good thing. As I've brought up in the past, especially more so, I guess, during the December, that huge rally that caused uh, it to go up pretty significantly. At that time, both big money and retail were buying. That's been the case over this last little bit as well. So I think FOMO is getting ready to hit a new level. So this is where SoFi could really hit to the Elliott Wave technicals, which is projecting 1050 or potentially higher in the short term. And I do realistically think it does need to be double digits, at least based on their earnings performance. But then again, what do I know? I'm not a financial advisor. Looking at stochastic though, you do see it at 37, but you do see a start to a nice deviation so black line above the red showing a underlying bullish sentiment so overall i think that is pretty good and does signal once again that a nice breakout to at least maybe nine and then obviously from there 10 is going to be coming right around the corner let me know your thoughts give yourself a shout out have you been buying have you been selling what have you been doing with sofi and one final thing i just wanted to share with you take advantage of this i do have a seven day free trial for you for seeking alpha premium so it does have all of the necessary information to better your investing whether it be press releases sec filings previous transcripts even fireside chat anything that you need to know in regards to any stock even news like everything it has so much information to better your investing definitely take advantage of this seven day free trial link in the description below and also the comments but with all that said though appreciate all of you watching